Happy Halloween. I want to know from you what your strategy is tonight when you're going to be bombarded with all kinds of candies, sweets, and treats, and how you're going to manage yourself so that you don't blow off whatever body project goals you have by having a dozen of mini chocolates or a plethora of candies and rockets. What I do know is that it's not just about Halloween. I just wanted to have a quick conversation with you on Halloween about how are you framing your, your life around events that happen like Halloween, like birthday parties, like events on the weekend. And are you the person that allows these things to derail your entire nutrition plan, your entire fitness goals, because you just throw in the towel and say, screw it, because now I've eaten five candies, right? What I wanted to chat with you about today is how you can reframe the way you look at events like tonight, right? Unfortunately, our kids are gonna be bombarded with a lot of chocolate and sweets tonight. And as parents, or as people that are giving candy out in the community, you might be left with all this candy in your home. Now, this is fine if candy isn't your thing or chocolate or whatever else, but unfortunately this almost sets us up for failure when we do have a sweet tooth. And because these little chocolates are literally this big, it sets us up for failure if that is your thing, if you are a person that loves sweets and if you mindlessly eat. So here are three strategies that you can take on today. I do a little bit of a candy swap with my kids when it comes to Halloween. I need that stuff out of my house because one, I think it's crap that I don't want them to put in their body. And two, I know I will fall victim to eating all the Kit Kats in their bag. That's my thing, I love Kit Kats. And if they're there, I'm probably gonna eat them. So if you get them out of your house, donate them to a local shelter, give them away to people at the office, get them out of your house and trade them in. And I posted about this today on Facebook. Trade them in for an amazing toy for your kids. Go and spend 30, 40 bucks or whatever it is at um, Mastermind or I don't know, Toys R Us to get your kids something that feels substantial for them trading in their candy. That's number one. Number two, Reframe your identity. Just like I've put on this costume and I am i don't even know what I am, I just found it on YouTube and I wanted to do it for myself. What identity are you living into, right? Are you the person that is constantly blowing off your diet and blowing off your fitness goals for next week, next month, next year? You can reframe that. Just like we put on this mask or this getup, I really believe that you can step into your best self, right? So ask yourself, can you, do you want to be that person who is able to avoid chocolate that says, you know what? I love Kit Kat. I'm going to have one, right? So try that on because it doesn't have to derail your diet. You can have a couple pieces of chocolate tonight and it doesn't have to be like, screw it. I really messed up now tomorrow because it's Friday. I'm just going to eat the rest of the chocolate and then Saturday and Sunday are going to snowball. And now you've blasted four days out of your nutrition and Four out of seven days, guys, is the majority of the week. So you don't have to throw in the towel tonight and you can be mindful. You are in control of the way that you eat. My third tip to survive Halloween is that it's not just about Halloween, right? You need to look at how are you approaching every situation. If you have the mindset around that you are constantly deprived because oh, I'm not supposed to be eating something around Halloween. Oh, I'm not supposed to be having a bottle of wine a weekend. You need to reframe the way you think. I believe that mindset around this is super duper important and that you're not deprived. We are living in a world that has so much abundance and we have the choice to have chocolate cake if we want every single day. We are so lucky and fortunate that we have that choice. However, if you are looking to optimize your health, if you're looking to live your best life, if you're looking to feel your best in your body, that is not goal supporting, right? And there are ways that you can feel great about the way you eat and fuel your body that can be a treat without derailing 
your goals, right? And so I will post below this, and I shared it in my private community that's doing our online program right now, about a really great way that you can satisfy that sweet tooth without throwing in the towel and derailing your progress. I hope that is insightful. If you want this recipe, put a thumbs up or a happy face or a pumpkin for Halloween below in the comments because I would love to support you in whatever your body project goals are. Happy Halloween. Have a great one, guys.